I'm just doing yeah. oh. <laughs> There's a bike stand there. Yeah. <laughs>Welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Peter. And hey this is Alex. Hey guys. And uh, we've done a lot of Cubs. A lot yes. of Horizon product Cubs. We love Cubs. We do yeah. love Cubs. Apparently Horizon loves them a lot. Too. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's probably a little too much. From the beginning it was a Super Cub LP. That was the brush model. Then it went up to the uh, the big carbon Cub we've done. We've mm -hmm. done that uh, the S2 that we absolutely love. They even had another yeah. UMX Cub that was brushless too. Yes. I, I actually own that one. It was uh, expensive too, it was, wasn't it? It still is. I think they still sell it or <laughs> some hobby shops still have it. Yeah. It's like 160 bucks. Yeah. 170 they had the bucks. flaps and the lights and all yeah. that craziness. It, it towed the glider around. Yes. But this is their newest edition, and it's very impressive. Yeah. And you guys are probably going to want to know about it, so let's just give you the specs now. Yeah, specs. So this is a $100 bind and fly plane, which is actually pretty good. And what's the ready to fly? Is it like $129? I think it's like 30 bucks more, something yeah. like that. It changes all over the place, but around the holidays, they usually get cheaper. But for a little yeah. tiny four-channel plane, and yeah. it even has gyros, it has safe mode, it has a beginner mode. So if yeah. this is your yeah. first plane that you've ever flown, um, it's actually going to keep you level and keep you safe when you're in the air. It even does cool. coordinated turns, too. Like when you put yeah. the, the uh, aileron command in, the rudder will move with it, so you'll do nice, nice yeah. turns. What do you say we uh, try them out? Want to put them up in the air? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Up. See. Holy cow, they're slow. <laughs> yeah. This is like really, really different though from like the yeah. Max Cub brushless. Ever, ever, if you ever seen those around, they go really fast. Yeah, I had the brushless one and it was pretty ballistic. And this it, is like it was fun. Awesome. I mean, it had vertical climb, but th this flies like a Cub in my opinion. Yeah. It actually carries the scale speed it's of a Cub. It flies of really scale, yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. We can just pull right into formation, which is incredible. Who am I flying with? Except for me. Uh, you're flying with me. I'm in the lead right, right cool. now. So the one thing I like too, I think in my mind this is much more stable than the Aronka Champ. Mm -hmm. Are you guys flying in beginner mode or regular mode? Right now I'm in beginner mode. Cool, I'm gonna switch over too. Yeah, I'm in beginner mode now. It just instantly levels your wings yeah, as soon hilarious. as you flip it. It's pretty nice. Now because so many different radios can go on here, you always want to check your manual. If you have a DX6 program, it's a certain way, a DX8, all the way up to 18. So yep, keep it's, that in it's mind. It's definitely covered in the manual. And it's actually not too hard to follow too. You no. just do a couple channel assignments and you're good to go pretty awesome. Just fly in circles all day long. Cool, so I'm gonna switch right. mine into uh, acro mode. Acro mode. I, wanna... I think you're still stuck in acro mode, Josh. <laughs> Look at the slow, lazy knife. It's there. actually got good power, too, for the, for the um, 8 millimeter brush motor. Yeah. yeah. 8.5. I yeah. mean, it flies pretty fast, as, I mean, as well as slow. Nothing crazy, and if you're outside, I don't know how much wind this would deal with, because we're inside, obviously, and it's dead calm. But it's super light, which is why it's able to slow down so much. I'm just saying, I'm really Check it out, inverted guys. Envelope. Inverted is pretty crazy. Oh down, my down. gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's pretty tough There's... to get it over inverted, but, but once yeah. you do, man. Once Look you do, it's, it's just fine. so docile. Oh, down. Look how low we are. I mean, yeah, we're we're ah! around the deck. Oh. 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 Alex gets to be the first to see how it crashes. Yeah, I'll right, go so grab it. So here comes the fun to, to flip it over and. Yeah. Ah, I, oh. <laughs> you guys do. <laughs> Victorious. I just flew mine back in beginner mode. I wasn't even looking at it. It's like autopilot. I'm seriously really <laughs> impressed about with this plane. For a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even like thinking of it because it looked like just, eh, just another, another, another Cub. Another Cub, right? yeah. <laughs> like what's so special about this one well, from the other ones? I think so far we love the Super Cub LPs. Don't like the brushless motors and don't like the small capacity. Mm -hmm. um, Carbon Z Cubs, not too fond of them. They're a lot yeah. of money, a lot of maintenance, and uh, they fly like a big airplane. So if you're going to have all the aggravation, you might as well get a big airplane. Yeah. Did you guys, did any of you guys see my crash? Uh, it looked pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal, and it literally <laughs> doesn't even have a mark on it. <laughs> nice. They're so light that it took it, it took the beating really, really well. I'm gonna fly around, Brian. Freak him out. Oh, <laughs> that was me. Gotta get you. Oh. Oh, I fly around. <laughs> <laughs> I just threaded the needle. I think I think between the uh, the red and white. What is it? The uh, Carbon Cub S2. Is that right? Yeah, the Sport Cub. I, they confuse me with too many Cubs. Oh. They need to just knock it off, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Or do something slightly different. What are you doing? You trying to go in between us? <laughs> I don't want to do that. The terminology is getting super confusing when picking cubs. Do you guys notice the glide slope on this? I know. You can just shut the motor off. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. That's a glide slope of a radiant. We're, we're Look at you! Just cut the motor off and it just glides right through. How <laughs> <laughs> good again? I don't think I'd ever say this, <laughs> but I think I. <laughs> That was me. I don't think I'd ever say this, but I think I like this better than the Mini Radiant. <laughs> what did you say? I said I think I like this plane better than Mini Radiant. That means. And I love the Mini Radiant. I'm just yeah. oh. <laughs> There's a bike stand there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a net over there. 
Okay, we're gonna get a lot of hate for this. Yeah, we're getting some hate mail. These planes don't weigh anything. Yeah, d don't do this unless unless everyone's aware of what's going on. <laughs> You know, being, yeah. So it, even with the tiny propeller, some people you could poke someone's eye out. Yeah. So just be aware of your surroundings and try not to play too many stupid games. Now this is <laughs> this. Sorry about that. This also on the box is FPV ready, so you can get their new little FPV module. And after seeing how nice it flies, I can see why they would say that. <laughs> you trolls, go away. Go away, trolls. The batteries are lasting pretty respectably long. Too. Yeah, I'm barely using any throttle. You cut the throttle completely off. You touched my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I keep I keep matrixing. You guys have both crashed your cups, haven't you? Mine's fine, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't crashed mine yet. <laughs> so what can we do to take this to the next level? I, I don't know. I'm I, ha I have fun another challenge. I already know what you're going to say, Peter. You're going to yeah. take planes together. We're going to take them together. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. Let's All right, take cool. them together. Yeah, cool. This is a good plane to do that with. Alright, so we have created a pyramid plane. Yep, I see a theme. You love fastening planes to each other, don't you? Uh, it's the thing I do when I'm bored with friends. Okay, well, you know what? The last time we did it was fun. This looks like fun, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, I, want, well, I want to test out the safe technology. All right. so, so I'm on the left, Josh is on top, and Peter is on the right. Yep. We're all in safe mode? Oh. Safe mode. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what power are you going to go for takeoff? Full throttle? Why don't we all do uh, uh, 50? Let's do, let's do 50 and yeah. just see where it goes. Yeah. You ready? Yep. yep. All right, three, three two, two, one. one. Hold on. Hey, who's that? Let's spin it around. Okay. Right. Ready. You're on the left, right? Three, okay. two, one, go. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's actually really stable. <laughs> All right, left turn. Left turn. Oh yeah, Whoa. I forgot. I forgot which time I'm on. <laughs> I am back on the power. <laughs> Let's just keep going to the left side of the straight now. All right, yeah. Just basically fly the airplane. All right, who's ever on the right needs to throttle. Okay. All right, I'm gonna throttle back when we come around. Okay. I'm on the right. You're on the right. right we're throttling. I'm throttling back. All right. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the throttle coolest. Up. A little All bit right, more throttling, throttling up. Yep. <laughs> you know, what I could just do is just. <laughs> oh yeah, Josh doesn't have to do anything. This is between you and me. <laughs> <laughs> this is really intense for me. Try Where your, did you guys go? Try your elevator, Josh. Yeah, try to try to try to try to manipulate. I have no effect on you. Try to manipulate the airframe. That's full. That's full down. That's full up. <laughs> Let's see if I... Right. Alex, you and me, we should shut our power off and see if Josh can carry us to safety. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, right, I'm full throttle. All right, Josh is flying. All right, I'm powering up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not so much. <laughs> I want to turn around from the wall. <laughs> oh, well, that was fun a little bit. Yeah, that was cool. It's definitely doable. Just don't try to let me fly. <laughs> so We should probably do this somewhere bigger, too, because we don't have any room to do loops or anything. All, all in all, it's amazing. Uh, th this plane, I think, definitely, if you're looking for an all-in-one, ready-to-go package. We really love the rating. We love the vapor. Mm -hmm. This is another one that you can put on the list that we really like, too. So if you if you want to get into it, have a, a box solution, this is one. We really love the, the DIY aspect, building your own, uh, but this is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's always good to have a, a success early. Yeah. Yes. Um, so get this first, learn how to fly, um, have a success early, and then if you want to try out scratch building or if you want to get into multi-rotors, uh, you can go anywhere you want from there. Yeah, because so. yeah. basically what you're doing is taking out variables. Like, you don't know if you built the plane incorrectly, you built it wrong, and then you try to learn that way. Mm -hmm. You're not learning anything because the yeah. plane is, can't even fly. Yeah, out of the box, this thing's going to fly tuned in, trimmed, and everything, yeah. uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I think we're all on the same page, too. Yeah. I think it's our new favorite little micro plane. I like it more than the Radiant, and I love yeah. The radian, but the yeah. fact that it has ailerons and the landing gear, and I think the way it, it glides me. too. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I didn't think nothing of this plane looking. I was like, eh, cub, whatever. I'd say it glides almost just as good as the radian almost. And the you, fact that you can put FPV on it too, that is yeah. FPV compatible with their new little module, I think this is going to be a game changer for the hobby. Yep. Well, All we right, wanna, good job, Horizon. Yeah, thanks, guys. And thank you guys for watching because if it wasn't for you, we literally would not be here. So yeah. thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. We have new episodes every Monday and Check Wednesday. Check out the podcast. Well, podcast. A lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of things coming up in the future. We discuss in the podcast first it's a it's a much more different format we can talk a lot of more mm -hmm. things in detail so yes. check those out too yep thanks guys we'll see you next see time, you next yep. time.